Hello guys, welcome back. Today's video, I will show you how to properly install Linux Mint 20 on any kind of external hard drive. Either it was HDD, SSD or ESD. So you can run your system on any other laptop or desktop. Very light and runs like fire. First of all, we need to download the Linux Mint ISO file. Just click the link down to the video. There are three versions of Linux Mint, Cinnamon, Mate and XFCE. Each of them has its own characteristics, but they all share speed and lightness. For me, I like the XFCE version. If you wanna know the differences between them, check this link. It clarifies everything for you. Once you determine which version suits you, download it and save it on your desktop. Already do it and this is my ISO file. Now we need a tool to burn this ISO file into your ESP device. To make a bootable ESP, follow the link and download this great tool and save it on your desktop. Plug in your ESP device and make sure you save all your documents in other place because this tool will wipe all data in the ESP stick. Open Universal ESP and follow the video. Choose Mint 20 Plus Distro. Browse your ISO file you downloaded before. Select your ASP device and click create. This process will take few minutes, just be patient. Now we have two different methods. I highly recommend that we use the first method, which is to remove the main hard drive temporarily until we finish installing the new system on the external hard drive. The process is easy, you just have to remove a few screws. If you can't or don't want to do that, just make sure to watch until the end of the video.
We finished here. Restart your laptop and remove your USB stick. Now you have Linux Mint on your external hard drive. You can use it wherever you want. You just need to change the boot setting to your drive. But for those who didn't remove the main hard drive before the installation will face a problem. When they turn on the laptop without plugging the external hard drive. I am going to show you how to fix that. Turn on your laptop using your external hard drive and go to your main system. For me, it's Windows 7.